So work on the new Kuti continues. Uh, there is going to be a toilet, so drainage for wastewater is required. And that is what is going on here today. So some people from the village have come to assist in the digging of a big hole. And as you can see, I'm spending a little time in here today before it's ready because it's a nice place to spend time. For this drainage, there are these big concrete rings like this. Uh, we'll see the proportions of those in a moment in relation to a person. And these have to be dug into the ground. As you can see, the outside of the new kuti is there as it is and over there is where the big hole is being dug where these rings firstly one is placed on the ground they dig out the middle and then the ring sinks they put another ring on top dig out the middle and that ring sinks another on top five rings in total so quite a deep hole because they're two feet in depth, well about just under a meter. And you see they've put some palm leaves over the hole for shade whilst they're working. And an elaborate but wonderful pulley system <laughs> to bring the sand up. engineering at its best. Fortunately they're just digging in sand but still very hard work. It's extremely hot. You'll see the size of these rings now. And uh, we'll go through and see down the hole. Then of course it has a lid. This is the lid. I think that's all the sand that's coming out of the hole. Oh. That's how you get drainage to your accommodation. So the beach where you normally see me is about a 200 yards, 200 meters uh, the other side of the building you're looking at, which is my new residence. I will be staying in there tonight. It's about as finished as it's going to be inside with the exception of there will be a water pipe coming in and a hole for water and stuff to go out. Thus, or hence the drainage over there. 
and that will be it. Here will be in the shade of those trees there my walking path for walking meditation which I will be able to make a new video about walking meditation there shortly. Well, when I'm able to have some time to do that. I need to create a straight line just about through there of about 20 paces and it'll be ideal as most of the day that is shaded. This huge building there, the big building there, is an old, empty, the old house that was here that's been abandoned. So maybe there are some devas living in there and in these trees. Maybe there are some hungry ghosts, petters, uh, whomever, whatever beings, I'll live in harmony with them for a long time to come, I hope. And they've all come together today. It's a holiday to help out and do this. Wonderful. This is my neighbor, the dog. <laughs> He's actually very friendly. And as we go through here, you'll see shortly the old, uh, well, the place where I go for talking to you on the beach. This is the, uh, actually the laundry shed. This is where I can boil up the, uh, the jackfruit wood on the fire in there for dyeing and cleaning my robes each month. Some other laundry and things going on there. And through there, over the other side of the railway line, which you're familiar with by now, is uh, the beginning of the beach and down to where I normally talk to you from. And that is outside of where I have been staying until now, temporarily whilst they were getting the cootie ready. It's taken a little longer than we anticipated. And not out of lack of patience, because I've been very comfortable where I am, but out of, uh, um, to help them, I've been able to contribute by using some of your donations that you've kindly sent in to get them to be able to buy some more materials that they needed to finish the job. And that's come in very useful. So... I must express my gratitude to you for that and on behalf of them for that because without that they probably would have had to have put the project on hold for quite a little while longer. But for quite a small amount of money, relatively speaking, they're now able to finish it. I was also able to explain with some help for some, from some other lay people that my requirements are very uh, little in terms of what's needed so a uh, very simple system for a bathroom washroom a hole in the ground and a pipe coming out of the wall basically is all I need and that's uh, made the project considerably easier for them and as I like it to be also so it's all working out very well So there's a little update as to what's been going on here. The very far end of that, uh, this track, it goes onto the road, the other side of which is where I was originally, the old place.
and there is a water monitor running off into the into the woods. They call them a warren, I think here. That's a very small one. I don't know whether you saw that. And uh, I'll have plenty of those to keep me company. Uh, this area will be cleared and is uh, going to be a little veranda, a little place for me to sit in the mornings and evenings, maybe with visitors also. They've put a new roof on here for that purpose, for when it's rainy. And it'll be nice to receive visitors here. Uh, once this little area is cleared and now put a, a smooth surface on the floor. And I'm camping on cardboard. Uh, the wonders of which and practicality of I cannot describe adequately cardboard you hear of cardboard cities and homeless people living in cardboard boxes. Well, there's a reason for that. <laughs> it's a wonderful material. It is insulative, it's clean. Of course, it's no good if it gets wet, but I've spent many a um, time years ago using it as the base for my uh, sleeping arrangements at festivals and such like. So. It's a useful, very useful thing indeed. And actually contained this uh, plastic table which someone kindly provided. A plastic table and a plastic chair for me to actually put the dana offerings on as they come in the morning and when I return from Pindapart because you need to not be putting things on the floor and they can go there so when the people come to collect what is to be distributed it's all nicely arranged and presented for them so for now there'll be another and i put this uh, string up <laughs> this morning because i've been able to hang my robe because we're not supposed to we mustn't put it on the floor and of course this floor is quite uh, not that clean yet. Oh, be happy and stay well. Suki Hotu.